Do we look at an international break? Two ways, it was good to recharge the batteries, but having lost a lead, you're probably itching to get back yeah. out on the field. Yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to getting back out there. I um, feel like we had a few results sort of just didn't get on the right side of, of games like, um, in the last block of games, so we're looking to put that right for sure This in this next block before the next international break. Well, yeah, there's only five games, isn't yeah. there? Um, you look at the championship table, you're 15th, but only three points off the playoffs. Mm -hmm. It's just every single result counts at the moment. Yeah, for sure. It always counts. It's, it's so tight there, you know. Um, just it's amazing. But in the championship, it's always been the case where you put two, three wins a row, two or three wins together in a row, then you know it it jumps up the table massively. So, but the the next game is the most important, and we're, we're hopefully or definitely looking to get three points. If I could bottle up consistency, I'd be a millionaire. Yeah. Um, how close is City to finding some consistency? Because you, you're a match for anyone in this yeah. division. Yeah, definitely. Uh, when we're at our best, we've always said we, we're a challenge for anyone. Um, we, we definitely feel like we can beat anyone in, in the league. Um, when we are at our best, it's just important that we do what we can do and control all the controllables to make sure that we are at our best. Um, Zach's missing at the moment. Cal is an injury doubt. No George Tanner. Um, yeah. But there's always a, there's a will, there's a way, I guess, defensively. Yeah, definitely. We've got, it's, it is probably one of the slimmer squads in the league, but we've definitely got... It's, We've got really good players that can that can maybe be versatile sometimes, um, but like you talked about consistency, it's consistency is really important, fitness and player wise. And unfortunately, we're lacking that at the moment. But we've got enough to to still to still be a match for anyone. And if we take away Stoke defensively, City are being sound this season. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Stoke's a, it's a real bitter one for us and well myself and us as a team. You know, we we still sort of kick ourselves about the fact we didn't walk away from there with a comfortable three points but you know other than that yeah we feel it's, it's been sound defensively yeah and you want to get more wins in Ashton Gate I assume yeah. yeah definitely yeah yeah our home form is really important it's really important to keep the punters sort of keep coming to, to, to Ashton Gate every week and, and looking forward to it so a home win would be lovely yeah and I talked about the international break coming maybe at the wrong time for you it just feels you're at your most settled period since coming to Bristol City and now having to wait for two weeks yeah. but how do you assess your start to the season personally um, yeah, no, I, I think I've been, I've been reasonably happy. I've been, I, I like to just have a few more, like better results under my belt, really. But you know, performance-wise, I feel like I've been doing, I've been doing well. I mean, I had a, it was a bit of an unfortunate, you know, with the sending off at Birmingham, and then Cal came in, and and the boys did well. Like I can't, obviously, I'm frustrated. I was frustrated not to be playing, but you know if it was myself in the in in a in a start of starting player's shoes and someone else had wanted to come in but we've been winning and doing well then it's i, I get it it's just that is how football works sometimes um but i feel settled and i'm and i'm happy with how things are going for sure because when you get your place back i mean no matter what game you're 100 percent determined to play well but does yeah. it make you even more determined to keep your place um i'm always not not anymore because I'm just always always determined to, to do well and keep my place or just do well for the club and the team and for the manager. What can we expect from Coventry on Saturday? Uh, they're really, I, I believe, one of the tougher sides to play in the championship. They're really well drilled. They, they, they're they well coached. It seems like a, a, from the outside looking in at Coventry, it's a good thing they've got going on there. They have a good system of play, a, a recognisable one and one that they've been consistently performing at a good level at for a couple of years now in the championship, a good manager, good coach. So it would definitely be a tough test, but you know, we, we still fancy ourselves to to come home with three points. And you're know, working with Tommy Conway, um, whether he starts or not is another thing, but now yeah. back in training, he got the goals against Rotherham. Um, what are your impressions of him? Yeah, no, I like, obviously I trained with him in pre-season as well. Really natural finisher, he's sharp off the shoulder. Um, so looking looking forward to seeing him sort of playing consistently. Hopefully, Do you have to mark him in training sometimes. Um, yeah, a bit of both. Yeah, it's, it's it's always a tough test, but we want to train again. You want always want to train against the best players. It helps both of you. So yeah, it's good. Have a good week. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. When you're out of team, the manager joked that you were sort of moody, grumpy around the place. <laughs> is that improved? Is, is that is that changed that in a good way? It's funny. Saying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw it actually. It's funny because I was actually trying to trying to consciously not be that way. But I, I wasn't, you know, I'll always be sort of trying to be helpful towards the team and everything. Like I said, I, I understood the situation, but, you know, I'm, I'm playing again now and, and want to keep my place and hopefully myself and the team do well. You mentioned commentary and their style of play. 
Um, you know, they've got they've got an identity, haven't they, in the championship. Um, but they've made a lot of changes this summer, and the likelihood is you're probably I don't know if, if Godden will start, but you may well be up against two strikers. Yeah. Well, well, did you play against Ellis Sims last season? Yeah, so, I played against him. Oh, okay, so yeah, you, yeah. You, you're familiar with him, but obviously yeah. they got the the American lad in. Just for the purpose of the question, I wonder when you when you're up against a striker who you don't really know anything about perhaps than what you've watched film yeah. before the game. Yeah. How is that? Like um, to be honest, there's not really many that you don't know much about. You see that you see a lot of clips. Obviously it's different playing against someone for the first time. Like Godden, for example, I've been playing against him for quite a while. Yeah. So I know a really, really handy striker at this level. But Sims, I've only played against him once, but he's a tricky customer as well. But we'll just hopefully do our best to to, to contain them. I mean do you a lot of your sort of pre match work, do you are you watching yeah, we're we we know specific. who we're playing against. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, some more than others. The ones that I've not like, for example, Sims. I've only played against him once, so I will probably do a bit more homework on him, you know, analysis-wise, than I would have got him because I know, you know, I've played against him for a while. I'll still obviously do my homework on him as well. But you get a good just from playing against players. You remember, you know, you know what they're like. You remember what they're like and what their game is. So hopefully, my strengths outdo his strengths. Yeah, um, how is it when when you're? Because I appreciate it's kind of routine for you now when you're watching film on, on players and then you go into a game. But how how helpful is it? Like, do you, like, or is it like simply it gets a bit? It helps with a little bit of decision making, but until you play against them, you know, yeah, it, it it just gives you a little sort of. Um, it's just a small win. I think it's something you can do that you've ticked off, you've watched them, you've done your homework, and now you can go into the game. It won't prepare you all completely for the game, of course, but it's just something that you, I think as a professional, it's good to do and to be aware of whatever, how they are against certain systems or whatever. So it's definitely something that needs doing. It feels like you're maybe not quite due a goal, but you're yeah. getting there. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Oh. I just feel like I've had a few in the in the last few games where I could have potentially been penalties, could have had one at Rotherham. Leeds, I had a strong shout very early on. Um, I feel like, you know, I want to be a bit of a... It's part of my job is to be a nuisance from set pieces, and I feel like I am I'm doing that. I'm getting there, like for Harry's long throw, for example, I'm sort of getting in the way and sort of not letting them clear it too cleanly so it drops down in the box but I just all I can do is keep being a bit of a handful when I do go up there and hopefully get on the end of one soon I had one cleared off the line actually at Leeds as well yeah, yeah. so hopefully one is due with those penalties I probably don't want to sort of go over it too much again but are you kind of like a victim of yourself there because it's harder for yeah, someone maybe because like of size, you I don't know yeah maybe I don't know I can't I <laughs> I tried to understand it, but I don't really. I can't really speak on behalf of refereeing decisions. I don't like to sort of go into that area, to be honest. Yeah. I, that's, you know, I, I disagree with a lot. I agree with some. It's just, it is what it is. I can't, there's not much I can really affect that side of the game, unfortunately. Did you get, did you get booked after that one? Was that you? No, it wasn't me. Uh, I, you know, it wasn't me that got booked, no. No, it was Joe, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would have been one of us. He tends, to be, he tends to be a little bit vocal after yeah. those sort of things. Um, I, I appreciate, obviously, Cal's kind of up in the air in terms of how training and his, his calf and all that. But the po there's, a, there's a possibility, obviously, you may have a third partner, different partner this season yeah. on, on, on Saturday. Um, how, how do you kind of like... When when you're starting out playing with someone in defence, how do you kind of deal with that um, yourself? Well, I mean, it, it's I think because I think I'm. Um, I mean, you're referring to Cam Pring, probably, aren't you? I mean, well, it would be yeah, the obvious be, one. Yeah, without, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, managers yeah. never going to tell us. But yeah, yeah, but I mean, I guess I've played next to him for a decent bulk of, yeah. the, of the start of the season. Anyway, I know what kind of player he is. He's really powerful. He's a good footballer. I know that I can. I would feel definitely feel comfortable him just stepping into that position anyway and playing next to him. I've got a good relationship with him. I sit next to him in the change room downstairs. We get on really well, so it's it wouldn't be an issue at all in my view. How do, how does that work then in terms of in terms of the dressing room dynamic? Is that just kind of ended up, or you consciously? Yeah, no, that just that's just how, where we play at the start of the season. But where we have a good chat every day, yeah, we get on well.
Oh, good, good. Yeah. What would you, you chat about? Just like oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> fair play, fair play. Um, it's been mentioned, uh, sort of spoke to manager about it, and you said about more wins and uh, and at home. Mm. Um, do you kind of, turn a corner might be a little bit extreme, but do you kind of feel a bit more um, kind of satisfied? Again, Stoke result wasn't quite there, but you had Plymouth before that. The results. Yeah. performances are, are yeah. getting there a bit more at home than yeah that's what I, ju- I just I feel like the I feel like the performances are there just the championship can just change like that it, on a, it, it can be just one moment like this Stoke for example their first goal it's like an unbelievable finish yeah. and just like that you go into a half time at 2-1 and it's a different sort of team talk um, okay Games change so quickly in the championship, but you need to. I feel like we're performing well. We just need to capitalise on our performances, take our chances, keep things out at the other end, and we'll do just fine. Nice one. Cheers, Thank Rob. You. Cheers. Hi, Rob. Uh, the last four games all been decided uh, just by the odd goal of a couple of narrow defeats at Leicester and Leeds. Um, obviously, that's really frustrating, but it must in some way provide some kind of motivation that you're not a million miles off these teams no. that are kind of fancy to. Yeah, yeah. Like the the Leeds one, for example, we're frustrated with just because we felt like we, you know, going going away to Leeds is tough enough. But we kind of handed them, you know, probably their first goal. Um, so that gives you an even more sort of not mountain to climb, but it makes the the away day tougher. But because we felt like we could threaten them on on the counter or in behind, um, we were quite confident going there to get a result. And it just feels a bit, you know, we're a bit. bit gutted that we sort of did give them a couple of goals but like you say we're, we're going there we're competing with them they're, they're narrow defeats teams will go there and lose a lot more heavier than that not that we're satisfied with a one goal defeat but you get my point we just we like I've said a few times we 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 fancy ourselves to go anywhere and compete with them it's as simple as that and it will be the same on Saturday yeah and the margins are so fine is, is there any way in training you can work on Getting over the over the line in games, is it mentally, or yeah. kind of does it come with a bit of momentum sometimes? Um, uh, not, I'm not sure. I think if you just if you just consistently perform well over a longer period of time, more results will go for you than they won't. Um, I don't want to sit here and say we went unlucky. It's just it's a bit of a, a bit of a cop out, really. I, we're, it's not that it's not that we just. But if we just perform consistently, create good chances, and and we'll do well. Uh, another player who come in the summer, uh, Taylor Gardner Hickman. Yeah, um, he's he settled in really well. How impressed have you been with him when you've played alongside? Yeah, him? no, really, really good player, really tidy player. Another one that's kind of looks like quite versatile. Um, can play right back, can play in the middle of the pitch. He's he's been a good player, really good technician, tidy on the ball, um, and yeah, I feel like he's settling in well. And obviously, you mentioned like a bit light on numbers. Uh, in terms of centre backs in the minute, but Rob Atkinson's kind of making yeah. strides to to coming back. Yeah. Good to see him come back to fitness, but also some added motivation for you, especially when the others are back to yeah. try and keep the yeah, team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, we always you need competition. That's how you, a team thrives. Really, we need in the championship. We've seen, or we like we're seeing at the moment. You need two good players for every position, and the closer we can get to that as a squad, then the better off we'll be. Yeah, and just finally coming up to <clears throat> five months since you've joined here, I just want to. Yeah. How you've enjoyed the journey so far? Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I feel like I've settled in well. It's a really good group of lads. I get on well with the manager. I'm enjoying training. I'm enjoying playing uh, in front of the fans. So, yeah, I'd like to think it's been a decent start. Nice one.